Hello, happy holidays. I hope Christmas was phenomenal for you. Uh, I had a great time. You like my new little mug? Isn't that fun? I actually bought one for my sister-in-law and loved it so much that I had to buy myself one too. I mean, come on, no drama, Lama. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I love it. Okay, anyway, speaking of holidays, and, uh, you know, I don't know if you were like me and maybe indulged a little too much, a little bit. Uh, you know, Proverbs 25 has a little bit to say about this kind of thing. Uh, verse 16. No, I want to talk about verse 28 first. It says that like a city whose walls are broken through is a person who lacks self-control. Um, so I come to you today to help with a little bit of that self-control action. Because, you know, having all of those sweets around for the holidays, I mean, people are making them for you and bringing them over to you and on all the celebrations, there's all kinds of good stuff, right? I mean, yeah, so Christmas night, I may have eaten a little too much. I may have indulged a little too much and <laughs> You know, I, I think about Proverbs 25 and, you know, verse 16, it says, if you find honey, eat just enough, too much of it, and you will vomit. You guys, I woke up on Christmas night, all nauseous and not feeling good and ended up in the bathroom. And I didn't think I did that bad. I didn't think that I indulged that much, but apparently I did. So, if you maybe are suffering a little bit of consequences from the indulgences over Christmas and you're ready to head into the new year without like the puffy face, the inflammation and the little bloat, and I don't know, maybe you have some other consequences as well. I know for me, my thyroid is not awesome. And so I, my, my consequences for indulging are a little harsher than some people's. So, I don't know, if you're anything like that, um, maybe these fun recipes that I'm going to share with you will be just the thing. So I found these, this way to indulge, feed that sweet tooth and like have something alternative that's a little safer than all of the sugary stuff out there. First thing I did was I made some chia pudding. My numbers have been a little off. My thyroid's a little slow and therefore the digestion is a little slow. And so, <laughs> chia pudding is a great help to the digestive, digestive tract. And it also happens to be very scrumptious for the sweet tooth if you add a little bit of maple syrup and some cacao. Now, I have not had a lot of luck with the chia seed pudding in the past, but I tried this new recipe. I tried it again because, you know, I just thought that I'm going to help myself out however I can. And this particular recipe knocked it out of the park. I don't know if she added in a little extra step or something, but this is good. The, the texture is good. The, the amount of cacao and um, sweetness from the maple syrup is perfect. So it's just water, chia seeds, maple syrup, and cacao. So good for you. So good for you. Okay, another trick I did was, another thing I made was little chocolates. And you guys, this is just coconut oil, cacao, maple syrup, and a little bit of vanilla. Now, I do, I, I do want to say that you're going to want pure maple syrup. I ran out of my maple syrup like in the last tablespoon I was using, so I went and I replaced it with, I finished it off with um, some of the natural syrup that my brother had in the fridge, which actually was not maple syrup. There was no maple syrup in it. And it fully, like totally messed up the consistency of the mixture. So it's a little clumpy, but it was still, it's still pretty tasty. And um, it might be, you know, it looks a little funky, but I did find some of these fun little molds that my mother-in-law had that just makes it look a little fancier. And it makes me feel like I'm biting into like a fancy truffle. And it's so, um, it's so rich that you really only need one to like satisfy that that chocolate craving and you want to keep it in the, 
in the fridge because it's it's coconut oil so it melts so I'll just keep it in the fridge okay last one the last one that I have for you is these phenomenal cookies chocolate chip cookies that are so safe it's just there's not even flour in it it's uh, I made it with cashew butter homemade cashew butter we'll talk about that in another post but um, cashew butter this is Lily's chocolate chips that I use which has soy lechon in it which so I probably won't use Lily's again I didn't notice that but it is sweetened just with stevia so um, it, it's a good choice and then also I don't know it's all in there one egg a little bit of baking soda I wrote out all the recipe down below so it's really tasty totally hits the spot hits the spot when you just want a little bit of cookie and you're trying to go without the sugar and the gluten like me <laughs> so anyway you guys I hope that this really helps um, go at it now I am NOT one that likes to cook or bake like it's just not my thing okay but this stuff was super easy and it hits the spot gets the job done so I hope it helps Merry Christmas Happy New Year I'll see you around.